Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and I continue with the Christmas gift ideas. Today I'm gonna be showing you this Snow Queen earrings with brick stitch. I provide a pattern and if you want to know how to make your own beading pattern, I have a special tutorial where uh, you could see all the possibilities of making beading patterns with different stitches. Okay, so I'm showing this one really slowly and easy and even if you are not familiar with the brick stitch, I'm sure by the end of this tutorial you're gonna be able to make it by yourself. You could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much of a support this is. If you make beautiful jewelry following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below this video. I will be so happy to see your creations. Down there in description you will find a full list of materials, link to my second channel, link for PayPal for donations, link to my store and link to all of my social networks. Thank you so much for watching. Now I will start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are two colors of Delica Beach Silver and White. Here I use Nemo Beading Thread, which is nylon thread 0.2 millimeters, which is size D. And these are earring findings in silver color. This is size 10 beading needle and this is a pattern that I provide with this tutorial and you will see the whole time I will be showing it like that and here at this corner. Now guys, I'm going to take about 4 feet of thread on my needle which is about 1.2 meters and I'll be back. Okay guys, and I'm back and I have here my needle and my thread and my pattern and I'm going to start with these first three beads here at the top. This is the famous brick stitch, but if you're not familiar, don't worry, I'm showing really easy and slowly, and I'm sure you will be able to make it, even if you never did brick stitch before. Okay, so now I have these two white beads, and I'm going to slide those down. I will stick my needle in my mat, and here what I wanna do is make a knot, and guys, I'm making my knot by making here a loop and going twice through the loop I've made and I pull. And now what I want to do guys with these beads is to make them stay next to each other with the holes pointing out. And how I do this, I'm going through one of them you see through one of them. Then here you see my pattern. Here I have two and one above them. Okay, so these are these are these two beads here. And in my next step, I'm going to add the one which will be here at the top. Okay, and I'm taking it like this and I'm going back through the other white bead. Okay, so now guys, I have this. My first three beads are put here and now I will start the brick stitch. Okay, and here in the third row, I have a white, a blue which represents the silver and a white. I made this scheme with white and blue just to have more contrast as you see them. Okay, so a white and a silver and you will see it here as well. So I'm taking a white and a silver. When I make brick stitch, I always start with two beads. Okay, I have them and you see this thread bridge between those two beads. I'm going under it. Now in my next step, I will go through the bead that is closer to the center of my work, closer to my thread, okay? Now I have this and in my next step, you see what I need to take is one white bead and I'm taking it and I'm going here under the same thread bridge that I've been through, okay? Here at this step, I have only one thread bridge. 
to add all of my three beads too, okay? And then I go back. Now this is the third row of my break stitch and I will I like to turn it in this direction because it's easier for me to work like this as I'm right-handed. Okay? And what's coming up next that you will also see here is a white, two blue beads and one white bead. So, first I start with two beads. And that is why I take a white and a silver. Okay? I have them here. And I go under the first thread bridge here. I have two thread bridges. I go through the first one. And when I make expanding brick stitch that I'm showing here, or increasing brick stitch, I always add two beads in the beginning and I always go through the first thread bridge of my row. Okay? So now this is what I have. Then I need one more silver which is blue in my pattern and I go here under the next thread bridge okay then again I go back through this one only the first beads I add two of each row then I add them one by one okay and here at my last step I always go through the last thread bridge that I already have been through with my previous bead so at my last and at my first thread bridges I add two beads okay but at the last one I do this one by one and at the first one I add them together okay so now guys I have this and I want to flip it and see what comes next after this row uh, it comes a white, three silvers and a white, okay? And you will see it here as well, okay? So I start with a, a white and a silver, okay? Now I'm going through the first thread bridge between this white and this silver and I pull. Then I go here through this silver which is closer to my thread and to the center of my work, okay? Here I have three silvers in a row, that is why I must add two more silvers, okay? I take one silver, go through the next thread bridge and pull and go here through this one then I take one more silver, go through the next thread bridge and go back here. And here guys, at my last step, I need to add one more white bead. Under the same thread bridge as I told you before in my previous rows. Okay, I'm adding it and I'm going back through it. Okay, now guys, I have this up to here. And in my next row is a white, a silver, two whites, silver and a white. And you will see it here as well. As well. Okay, and I'm flipping my work. And I will show you faster this time. Okay, now I have this and I prefer to flip and in my next row guys you see I have a silver, two whites, a silver, two whites and a silver. 
Okay, I show you this one as well faster. Okay guys, now I have this. As you see, my pattern is now up to here, to this point. And now guys, I will continue following these steps and you could pause on this pattern like this. Make those rows and when I'm up to this central row, which consists mostly of silver beads, I'll be back to tell you how to start decreasing. Okay, see you in a while. Okay guys, and I'm back and I'm here to this central row which consists of mainly silver beads with one white bead in the middle. And this is the center of my Snow Queen earrings. And now what I want to do is flip it like I did before and I will show you how I decrease. Okay, so here in my next row, I start decreasing with one silver and one white and then silver and two whites. Okay. And uh, remember that you could check the description for how to make your own bidding pattern after this tutorial and you will also see it at the eye icon. Okay, so now I'm starting with a silver and a white. Okay, and when I decrease, I always go through the second thread bridge. You see, here is the first thread bridge and this is the second one. And I go with my beads under the second thread bridge, okay? Then what I do when I decrease is additional step that I don't do when I increase, okay? And it is to to go one more time through those beads because you see this one how sits in a different position doesn't sit straight but like on one side okay so now i go through it and go back through this white one okay and this this is my first step then i need a silver and it is absolutely the same thing. Go with the silver under the next thread bridge. And go back through this silver one more time. Then I take two whites. Okay, first one. And then one more white. Okay, then what comes are two silvers. Okay, two whites. Because both sides are symmetrical, I could now watch this part here. First, I add one white, then one more white, then a silver white silver. And with the decreasing guys, I stop up to here. I don't add one more bead at this last step at my last thread bridge like I did when I was increasing. So I stop up to here and I will show you faster 
one more row which is this one a white a silver two whites three silvers two whites one silver and one white and it is the same with this row as well so i'm starting it i'm going under the second thread bridge here you see this is the first and i'm going under the second thread bridge like this then i go one more time around those beads this is the difference between increasing and decreasing brick stitch here at this step i go around the beads like this to make them stay in a nice and a better shape i go under the second thread bridge instead of the first one okay and then at my last step i don't add two beads at the last thread bridge but only one so that's it now i'm going to show you this row faster and then i'll let you finish your work by yourself okay now i have this and i'm going to flip my work okay guys now pause this pattern and continue doing this from here until the end and when you're ready i'll be back to tell you how to finish your earring okay guys and now i'm up to here where i'm just finishing my earring and i'm here at this row which is white to silvers white and i need to do this row which is white silver white and how I'm doing it, I'm taking a white and a silver. I'm going through the second thread bridge, which is the central one. Okay. Then one more time, I go around like I did before around my beads to make them stay flat, flattened next to each other. Okay, reinforcement and now I need one more white bead and I'm adding it here like this now I'm going to flip my work and I'm going to take two more seed beads again I'm going through the second thread bridge of those two bridges that i have here left okay and i go one more time around those two last white beads okay and here instead of adding one white bead i'm going to add my ear wire and in order to do this i'm taking a silver my ear wire like this and one more silver bead okay i have this and i will go back here through this one okay and i will go back one more time reinforcing it then with the brick stitch you don't need to make knots but instead of making knots you could go around through your beads up and down many times and after you're ready cut your thread 
here and the tail thread from this side as close as possible to your work. You could use cutters if you want. Okay, and now my Snow Queen earring is ready. Okay guys, and now my Snow Queen brick stitch earrings are ready. So if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and also hit the bell button. And in this way, you will know when I make matching jewelries to the ones that I have already done. And you will be able to make beautiful sets for presents or for yourself. Down there in description, you will find a full list of materials linked to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel, link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful works that you did following my tutorials, and also a link to my second channel where I showed fast clips of all of my videos and you might enjoy the process of creation so you could check it out. Now, thank you so much for watching. Bye bye from me.